Hi, I finished the first week of the Solo Artist curriculum. Term 1's first unit is dedicated to figure drawing. The suggested main study material is Proko's Premium Figure Drawing Classes, but I decided to start figure drawing with Proko's YouTube channel, so the free version of the program. I had two main reasons for that. I cannot dedicate 20 plus hours a week to this curriculum, so the YouTube material looked robust enough for the amount of hours I can actually put in in only four weeks. I also wasn't sure I wanted to start the first unit going straight into a paid course. My first page makes it very clear that I had never done time gesture drawings before. Even my attempts of note taking from Proko's videos showed the nervous and messy lines. The curriculum strongly recommends practicing with Croquis Cafe's gesture sessions concomitantly to learning figure drawing. But as it turns out, Croquis Cafe has been mostly censored out of YouTube, and I could not find much. But I did try some two-minute drawing poses I found from one of their series on day one. It was hard. I found I got a bit lost on contour at times, but the bottom drawing, I think, shows a better attempt at CSI lines and getting some movement and fluidity. I got another set and tried out some one-minute poses and really struggled with those. So I moved on to watch more of Proko's videos. I tried drawing the poses and took notes. On day two, I decided to draw my kids as I watched them play, and they don't stay still for 30 seconds. So I gave up very quickly. I still tried a bit on the second page's first drawing, but then I found some non-nude poses on New Masters Academy channel, and I tried them. The results were variable. On the top, I felt the line quality improved a little bit from day one, and also I had some more economy of lines, while some of the rhythms were captured. I wasn't the case for all poses as the little alien on the bottom right. In this next page, I tried capturing my daughter reading and some other one-minute poses. And after that, I went to watch Proko's video three and attempted the two-minute poses. My notes read, I'm finding time gesture exercises quite challenging. I will try some structure and come back to those gesture poses. I did some more one-minute poses and fell in the situation in which I started my drawing in a position that did not allow for the pose to be captured in its entirety. I went on to watch the bean video and I found it hard to judge if I was getting the beans right or not. I watched the video instruction and the critique, and I could see them working in some cases, but not always. So I got Michael Hampton's figure drawing book to try to get more clarity. This book had been recommended to me a long time ago, but I had been rather intimidated by it. As I looked through the first pages, it felt too much for me. But having figure drawing as a study focus for this unit and having started with Broca's figure drawing course, I felt more comfortable using the book. So I tried to find some poses that would make me think of beans. I could see a bean here, so I tried to draw this pose, this pose, and a few others from the book. What I was trying to see was if I could copy a gesture drawing with some level of success and learn how to find the bean and then use those learned gesture lines to improve my drawing process. So I took note of the structure, the spine, the hip cage, and went on to draw the poses and isolate the beans. I think it was useful. I felt a little more comfortable in the following gesture section, which was New Masters Academy number one, not new time gestures. The first one was one minute. The other drawings were two minute poses. Unfortunately, I drew them with color pencils and the pink in particular is not being clearly picked up by the camera. What I like about this exercise is that the lines are cleaner and I feel the drawings are less stiff and flat. And some of them were successful in picking up gesture. I even did my first five minute pose and I wasn't very sure about how to progress with it. The next day, day four, I jumped straight into one minute poses and I found it super hard again. I felt my drawings were rigid. This was the big man and I couldn't draw him. It did get a little better as it went on, 
there's some kind of warm-up factor at times and when we get to the two-minute poses, the drawings generally feel better. My note, this man has been quite difficult to draw, very twisty. And here I can see that I tried to do the wrapping lines from Michael Hampton's book to help with 3D information, that is, our limbs coming forward or receding. But here, this looks rather dirty. Day five, I continued studying the book, trying to get some structural understanding. And then I also watched Broco's structure lesson, in which he points out this common beginner error, which is wrapping lines being too flat which I had been guilty of the day before. He also talks about boxes, and I wrote down his explanation because I have already started to draw a box twice, and I have given up twice in lesson one, more specifically, the 250 boxes challenge. I have drawn a hundred and some boxes until I couldn't see them anymore. So I was interested in seeing if Broca's approach to boxes would help me and I liked how he explained them. I wrote some notes and drew some boxes, which were part of the assignments. I did not do a lot though, because I'll have to do quite a few of them for unit two, so I'll save my boxes for later. Next, it was Proko's landmark video, and uh, I copied his landmark drawing. And copying is always so much easier then getting the gesture and landmarks by myself in a timed practice. But it is satisfying to be gradually progressing through the phases of figure drawing. The other part of the structure assignment was to draw animals with some cylinders and volumes. And this was the most fun I had this week. I cannot say that I have nailed the exercise, but I did like my quashies and the anteater, and they were fun to draw. Day seven, I got a croquis cafe blurred video and I really did not like the blur. So I went to new master's academy and found some nude sessions. I worked on quite a few one minute poses, which I still found very challenging. And then two minute poses, which are generally better. I like this one. This one is not bad either. I do tend to enjoy much more the two minute poses. I get a lot more nervous with one minute ones. I also feel that five minute poses don't turn out to be significantly better. I find them really comparable to my two minute ones at this point, but I do appreciate having the time to go slower. I did a few little marks here and there, tried to mark the elbow, but generally, the increase in time is not proportional to the increase in quality. So I hope this is something that will make more of a difference as this course goes on. Next, I watched the RoboBean video and took some notes to have something to start from on week two. I wasn't very consistent at tracking the time I spent on the program this week, but I spent roughly eight hours and a half drawing and watching videos or reading books this week for figure drawing. I think it was productive and I'm looking forward to seeing what week two will bring. Thank you for watching. Bye.